Hello, this is Logan Murphy, and for this video, we're going to be displaying uh, the inventory of, or at least what f what stores have a film in their inventory. So we're going to start off right with my sequel. So we need to get some data from the database that would require a select. Okay, so we want to get the inventory. So we want to initially we want to select. Let's put a star for now from inventory. And we will temporarily rename this table I. Just because it's short for inventory. Okay. And the inventory knows what store, what stores it is associated with. So there's a relationship between store ID and st store ID. So inventory stores, the inventory has the smallest information that's unique about a store and that's the store ID and this goes right to a store. So we know what store this inventory is associated with. So we just enter join store, rename it S, and we're going to join it on that one unique thing that they have in common. see what that looks like so far okay lots of information now there isn't really like anything about these stores that's fairly unique so I decided that the address is something that's fairly unique so before I type the rest of this a store has an address ID and that goes to this address ID so this stores this store has the smallest amount of data that represents an address which is the address ID so the number in here just tells you which thing in this table this is is important to this table so for example we go to the store table if we wanted to know the address of this store, this is a store one, it's, this column represents the important address that's associated with this, so if I wanted to know what address this was at, address one is 47 MySecula Drive. If I wanted to know the address of this one, number two, 28 MySecula Boulevard. Okay, so that's, th that's what we will join on that unique thing that they have in common. So we're going to enter join also on address as A. We'll rename it as A temporarily and A dot address ID equals S dot address ID. And we'll just get more columns. But we really don't want all these columns. We're going to choose a few fields we'll get the address the actual address like street address and we will get um, the store ID okay and see what that looks like and we need to say which table we're getting this from so I'm getting the address from the address table because that's what I renamed it temporarily and we're getting the store ID from the store table because that's what I renamed it temporarily. Okay. So we only want to know if a store has a certain film in stock. So we get the smallest most important unique thing about the film table and the inventory table let's just look for that inventory table has a film ID so we want to make sure that we're only looking at the inventory where the film ID is our variable film ID 
and we got one, two, three, four for this one, and one, two, three, four for this one. And we can verify that. Here's fill my D1 store ID one, fill my D1 store ID one, fill my D1 store ID one, fill my D1 store ID one. Okay. Here's store ID one. Let's scroll up a little. Here's store ID one. But this is the address of store ID one. So to get the address of store ID one, we need to look at store ID one. Store ID one is address ID one, which is MySQL drive. And of course we have MySQL drive four times because we have one, 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 four times. And then we have one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, four times. This is a two, two now. And we have MySQL Boulevard. And the store ID is two. So let's look for store ID two. Here's store ID two. The address ID of store ID two is two. So the address is 28 MySQL Boulevard. Okay. But we want to get a count. So we're actually going to first group by the address. So we'll only see each address once. Okay, so each address is only seen once now. Because that's what we're grouping by. And we're going to count star. Okay, and we're going to rename this column count. Okay, so you see it says count here, and there's four of each, and that's exactly what we want. So we have a query we can use now. Let's take that query, go to Eclipse, go to the film table, or the uh, film um, web page, and we're going to use MySQLy to query the database using this connection this query query we just made semicolon if there's a table and while there are rows Make sure we free the result so that we have more memory. Otherwise, PHP will crash if it runs out of memory. Alright, so what I would like to do, I'm going to turn PHP off for a second. We're going to make a select. After the while loop, actually before the while loop, we'll turn PHP back on because you can't do while loop without PHP. And then we'll turn it back off. Close the select, turn PHP back on. Okay. And then we're going to get each of the rows. So first we got the table this whole table, then we get the rows. So, we're going to echo the option tag, because that's what goes inside of the select tag we put here. And we're going to echo do our string concatenation, just combining strings the rows address column so we know it's address because it's address here and we're going to put like a dash then we're going to get cat again get the count and as the actual value of this option going to put the rows store ID. And 
and the error is here. We've scroll down, there's nothing down here. Refresh. Expects one to be resolved. Fetch associative. So some kind of an error. This should be table. Refresh. And we have MySQL 28 MySQL Boulevard has two of this film. And my my Sequilet drive has seven of this film. And if we view the source and the options, you'll see as value two because store ID two and value one because it's store ID one. Okay, and we could sort it using some kind of distance. But eh, let's do a little bit of making it look better, though. So, as always, first true if first echo if class equals title. And this will be um, locations. And we'll do an opening div here and a closing div. Actually, you can't do that. We'll put this selected right here, actually. Because you can't put a div inside a select. You can put a select inside a div, which I'm doing right now. But you can't put a div inside a select. Only options can go inside of a select. So now, refresh. And we have our locations. Let's add a little bit more spacing. That would go... Let's look at our previous. Okay. So the div right here. This class is spacing. Give us a little bit more uh, spacing, which actually looks a little wrong, but it's okay. All that matters is that we have, well, actually, it's not okay because it's not working anymore. So let's just look at the HTML that's generated. And it's actually really hard to look at it like this. So you see the select has only one option and the option the other options over here. Let's take another look. Oh, obviously. First equals false because it's no longer the first. And let's see. The select option value 1, 47, skill dry. Close the select. There's another select here, so let's look at our code and make sure it makes sense. So, first is true. While we have rows to get, if it's the first thing, then we're going to echo a div, the title. Who's a t it's a title tag, pretty much. Closing div, opening div, opening select, then we'll do opening option all the way to here, closing option, this select closes this select, this div closes this div, let's try refresh again, nope. Well, 
I'll fix it when I post the files, but this is getting the data from the database. I'm Logan Murphy, and I'll see you next time.